All right, we could all use a little good news when it comes to our health, right? Well, tomorrow is World Cancer Day, a day to raise awareness and support efforts to battle the many forms of cancer. Now, in the United States, the rate of cancer deaths has been dropping for years, but why? Here's our why guy. You may not be old enough to remember the days when airlines permitted smoking on flights. At a restaurant, you could be forced to inhale the bad habit of someone at the next table. Those days are long gone, and we're seeing the benefits. Over the last 27 years, the U.S. death rate from cancer has dropped significantly. Let's look at all of the reasons why. Death from cancer has not kept pace with the overall population growth in the United States. In fact, the cancer death rate has dropped 31% since 1991. That overall decline of 31% translates to approximately 3.2 million cancer deaths averted. By far, the biggest drop has been in the death rate due to lung cancer. As you can imagine, the anti-smoking campaigns and laws that limit where you can smoke have had a major impact. Rebecca Siegel is the senior scientific director Director at the American Cancer Society. We are now um, reaping uh, and continuing to reap the benefits of reductions in smoking that happened decades ago. Advances in detection and treatment have saved lives, particularly when it comes to breast, colon, and prostate cancer. On the other hand, the COVID-19 pandemic has resulted in a drop in the number of people going to the doctor for regular cancer screenings. There are concerns about the long-term impact. It's expected that these disruptions in care will lead to later stage diagnoses. Siegel points out that doctors have gone to great lengths to protect you from COVID-19 while conducting the screenings you need for protection against cancer. Jerry, thank you. And the official colors of World Cancer Day are blue and orange, so you can wear that tomorrow. And this year's theme, I am and I will. If you have a question for our Why Guys, send it to us on Facebook, Twitter, or email, Chesley.